Hello, my beautiful Aquariuses. Welcome back to Real Life Tarot with Renee. I'm so glad you guys are joining me today. I'm trying to get you guys your readings out before I hit on the road because I'm about to leave again. But let's start with some intuitive uh, messages for you guys, right? Aquarius is in love. You know my motto, if it doesn't fit, you must have Okay, so I only check what resonates and leave the rest. You guys, make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button as well. So this message can get out to other Aquariuses out there who is looking for their message, right? All right. Oh, okay. Get them, get them in there. Get them in there. Let's get them in there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's get into it, Aquariuses. You guys, welcome to Libra season. We are in full-blown Mercury retrograde. Okay. So, yeah. Let's get these messages for you. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, please. Continue to give me honest messages. Oh, that's a lot, Spirit, for this sign of Aquarius, okay? All right, that was just too many at one time when they do that. Okay, I'll, ooh, somebody suffering in silence. Lord, child, Aquarius, says, what's going on, babies? Yeah, but listen, something is improving in your life, okay? Could be your money, your career, okay? Somebody is definitely stalking you, though. You could be stalking someone, right yeah love bombing right wanting to come in and love bomb you yeah but you want forward movement right that's what i'm gathering or they want forward movement with you and either you or your person is definitely suffering in silence right um and because of that you can expect an, a tower chaos mental meltdown uh mental uh meltdown breakdown right in behavior um, yeah, somebody's, and I feel strongly that somebody is suffering in silence. They want to be with you or you want to be with this person, but you're just not saying anything, right? You're keeping everything very mysterious. Why are you doing that? Right. But what you need to do is bring positivity into the situation. Once you do that, everything will work out in your favor for this marriage or commitment that, um, you either ran away from or want, right? The cards will tell it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you are being divinely guided by spirit to open up little bit by little bit. Yeah, so that you can heal from within, so that you can have what it is that you want, right? There's a lot of spying going on. Security breach. <laughs> somebody could be trying to hack into your accounts too, just FYI. That's not for everybody. That's just for somebody. Okay, take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay. Yeah, frustration is here. Yeah, very frustrated. Yeah, hot and cold energy. Yeah, and insecure, which is why um, I'm just energetically pulling these because they were on the bottom of the deck. Yep. Um, yeah, insecure, which is why you or your person could be like um, having um, issues coming forward uh, to have this talk with you. I feel like a talk is um, in the horizon, right? Um, or it's needed. Okay. Yeah, but somebody's been frustrated. They don't know how to heal this situation with you or you, them. Been hot and cold with you or whatever. So, yeah, let's get into some tarot. And let's get a little bit more information, Aquarius says. Whew, going into your midweek of um this week, going into October. I can't believe it. Like, we're literally here in October now, right? Wow. Libra season is in full effect. So you guys, yeah, we are in Mercury retrograde. You can expect to get some um, communication or whatever about someone, how someone truly feels about you or whatever. They could have been insecure in the past, too, afraid to speak to you about their feelings, right? Keeping everything mysterious or being mysterious in their behavior. Okay, this is what the um, cards are saying. I'm energetically channeling right now as I shuffle these cards for you. Yeah, somebody is um, stalking, trying to get more information about you or your person. It's going to be you or your person, yeah. Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck, yeah. So that's telling me somebody definitely wants some type of reunion with you or connection with you. I left it in there on purpose. Yeah, thank you, Spirit. Can you give me more? Mm -hmm. What's going on here? Woo wee these fall out in the reverse, though. Okay. Wait, are they not? Yep, yeah, these fell out in the reverse. Hold on. Oh, but are they reverse? Oh, no, they're the upright. Oh, yeah. I'm like, the car's just. Okay, sorry, guys. Eight of Cups. Yeah, wanting to move on. Uh, Move on from abandonment, right? Which makes sense because we do have forward movement here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. 
forward movement is right here that fell out okay so somebody with this eight of cups is in this eight of cups energy could be dealing with the i don't know maybe a pisces cancer scorpio energy yeah five of pentacles energy as well as here mm -hmm. somebody's kind of feeling left out in the cold they could be at some type of financial loss or whatever um but i'm feeling more so of them just feeling um, left out in the cold somebody who's i'm um, feeling um worrisome or in isolation right from this two of cups mm -hmm. yeah and they feel like they can't have this this two of cups with you right this um this yeah this marriage this uh relationship this commitment that makes sense it fell out yeah so they're they're just coming to the terms that maybe i just need to move on from this connection right move away from abandonment feeling unloved thank you spirit okay you want to slip two out on me okay let's get it yeah the emperor aries energy y'all five of swords oh my goodness yeah so this could have been an abusive relationship too uh-huh you could or this is somebody who's abused their power could have been this emperor you were dealing with take it out resonates mm-hmm somebody um this could be you this could be your person you could be dealing with an Aries. It could be dealing, like I said, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Yeah. But it's like abuse of power. They could have been verbally or physically abusive to you. This won't resonate for everybody that part. But there is somebody who um feel very like you treated them really cold. You know what I'm saying? Um they could have they also could have um stolen from you too. They could have put you in some type of financial loss, okay. Let me see here, though. Let me clarify these so we can get more clear information. But if this is resonating with you, Aquariuses, let me know. Okay, sound off in the comment fields. I won't make these videos long. I'm trying to get them out um, just as general messages, not go too deep um, today. Because I want to get as many videos out as possible um, before I leave out. Yeah, but energetically, I feel like I needed to do this one right? Somebody could have been also abusive towards you because, you know, with the love bombing or whatever, they would have probably could have wanted to come in and love bomb you or they were doing that, but they weren't, they were kind of deceptive as well. They were, you know, um, they want to come in and do this to you after they bought this tower down, after their be abusive behavior, right? Could have just been their behavior too, not maybe they tr physically trying to harm you, but you know what I'm saying? You know, just their energy, very toxic energy is what I wanted to say, right? Because five of swords doesn't always mean like physical or I touched up. They just, just the way they went about things was very toxic, okay? Yeah, yeah, eight of, uh, we got eight of, uh, nine of cups, excuse me, clarifying the eight of cups, right? So somebody wanted wish fulfillment with you, right? they saw you as wish fulfillment yep material abundance or whatever um you could be moving towards that as well moving away from heartbreak or whatever but moving towards your um finance um your material harvest what's the five of pentacles clarify for the five of pentacles spirit thank you oh it fell on the reverse justice in the reverse y'all so justice in the reverse is like well first of all that's libra energy okay so you're dealing with someone who is very dishonest, unfair. Um, you could be dealing with some type of lawsuit. Remember I said that somebody, for some of you guys, um, this person could have caused you to uh, lose money. Mm -hmm. They could have stolen from you with this five of swords energy as well. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, let it fall. Yeah, nine of wands. Yeah, and this two of cups. Yeah, so you're very, you're very defensive uh, in this energy uh, for having this two of cups Um commitment you know whether it's marriage or in a committed relationship thank you spirit yeah king of pentacles in the all the way to reverse right clarifying the emperor okay so this this emperor was operating in the king of cups uh i mean i'm sorry king of pentacles in the reverse right very jealous person right um could have been you know could have been very shifty in business this also could have to do um with a business uh situation or whatever um it could be a, a failed marriage as well right yeah oh spirit okay well let's get into it yeah king of, uh yeah knight of cups in reverse 
Yeah, and that makes sense. Five of Swords. Mm -hmm. So this Knight of Cups in Reverse is like somebody was very moody. You know what I'm saying? Unrealistic expectations. Blamed you for everything. Highly insecure, which makes sense why that came out. Okay. Had it could have definitely had you suffering in silence. You probably put up with this for a long time and had you in frustrated energy, right? Now this now you want to move forward. You want forward movement with the eight of cups energy, right? Away from this person so that you'll have time to heal, right? After going through this tower moment with this person. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. They want to come in and they want to love bomb you though. They do, right? They want to love bomb you or whatever, but you're improving already on your own, right? being remaining positive or whatever clarify the nine of cups thank you spirit yeah queen of wands right mm -hmm. yeah queen of wands energy that's what they see yeah clarify justice in reverse from this uh very abusive person yeah oh the tower in reverse what is up with the reversals and this deck is in the upright this deck is in the upright y'all sorry that just slipped like that but yeah this deck is in the upright this is the upright yeah, so the tower in reverse. So somebody wants to come in and rebuild this tower, basically, in a nutshell. Yeah. Somebody, um, they want to go back in. Um, you could, uh, this also could mean, too, that um, this person is in the energy of fearing change, right? It could be you. You could be fearing change, too, if you're still... Um, um, these are... I had the cards upside down. Sorry, if this is actually in the upright. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, and look, clarifying again, Nine of Cups, like Defense of Steel over this cool, Two of Cups energy. Yep. Mm hmm. Definitely break up what fell out this way or whatever. So you could have broken up with this person with the Two of Cups or whatever. Mm hmm. Yeah. Disinterested breakup. I'm just leave it like it is because it's the same thing. It's still defensive energy. Yeah. Okay. Why do you keep doing that, Renee? Okay. Move. Hold it this way. <laughs> Because I want to make sure it's coming out right. Yeah. Okay. I got a flipper, you guys. Yeah. Woo. The Empress. Libra, Taurus, energy. Right? Mm-hmm. I knew you could have been dealing with the Libra. The Justice card came out. Yes. So, you want... Your person wants this with you, but they're not in their right energy. Right? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. Page of Cups. Exactly. They're coming in very immature with this Page of Cup energy. Wanting to, want to, want to offer you a cup of love. But they're still insecure. They're still insecure. Like, they know that they need to improve the situation with you. They know that they owe you a, an abundance of apologies and everything. But here it is. They're being divinely guided by Spirit to come do the right thing by you and heal this situation. Right? Only take what resonates, guys, and leave the rest. Okay? If it's not, it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. But this is what's going on. Right? So, you're very defensive. Uh, this is the energy that I'm strongly getting for you, Aquarius. You're very defensive. Not sure if you want to, you know, go into um, this situation with this person, okay? They want to come build with you, but they was very abusive, very cold-hearted, didn't talk to you right. You know what I'm saying? Um, just told your energy. They were an uh, energy thief, okay? They would do enough, love bomb you to get what they wanted, and then boom, they out again. You get what I'm saying? So, okay, now I want to... Let me pull from this deck. I, I got a new intuitive deck. Yeah. Uh-huh. On the bottom of the deck, I just took that. Yeah, Tom Foolery and Fuckery is what she was dealing with with this person. Child. Yeah, and they want to call or text. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, probably go on a vacation. I'll leave that one in here, though. Yeah, they definitely want to communicate with you. Uh-huh. Heal. When any time, like, any of the cards, like, healing, call or text or... Um, any of the movement cards come out, I know that they want to energetically reach out to you. Mm -hmm. Movement cards, it's like the chariot card, stuff like that. Yeah, this is what I got. Can't, uh, Aquariuses. Oof. I just could be dealing with Aquarius. I was about to say Cancer, but you could be dealing with Cancer. <sighs> Page of Cups is out, and that's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Yeah. Yeah, it's like black and white with you, right? And I thought you lied and I found out the truth, but was too afraid to say sorry. See that, guys? Leave it check. Yeah, just shuffle, shuffle. If it comes back out, that is. But that is the message for some of you guys. I'm just leaving it in the deck until I do a smooth shuffle. Thank you, spirit. I see you want to pop your head out. Yep. Oof. Yeah. 
for you guys. Make sure you guys uh, get the ooh, twin flame child is dressed of it all. Uh, hit the like, share, subscribe button as you got that's too many spirit. Um, hit the like, share, subscribe button as you guys come in to watch this video for Aquarius. This up the video circulate to other Aquariuses out there um, who need to get this message. Okay, that's I'll take those and that's that. Yeah. Oof. Mm hmm. Step. So you're de definitely. This makes so much sense, right? With the with the five of swords being in the initial uh, spread, right? And look what it says here, you guys. I want power and control over you at any cost, right? Even if they have to come in and fucking love bomb you, you guys, uh, child, the stress of it all, and let it happen naturally. Spirit is saying whatever it is, right? Because you know what I'm saying. Even if it's tomfoolery and fuckery. Even if it's Tom Pulley and fuckery, because now you can use discernment the way you need to, right? Yeah, but they are in grief, sorrow, and anxiety in this nine of swords energy. They want to come in and heal, right? Which well, got the healing card, yeah. Ah, but spirit is saying again, the situation will improve. Will improve positivity. Mm hmm. Yeah, I can't even make it up. And here, and this came out in the first set. Um, improvement. Thank you for the clarification, Spirit. I appreciate it. Yeah, so that's what's up. And it says, I'm secretly in love with you, but I talk shit to everyone else about you. Right, which is this five of swords energy. That's abuse. That's abuse of power, the tongue. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you verbally abusive. This is verbally abusive behavior. That's why this five of swords is here. And they got they they talk shit about you. They want to be with you. They're secretly in love with you. But you know what I'm saying? In, in private, behind closed doors, this is what they do. They talk shit about you. They talk shit about you and stalk you at the same time. Make it make sense, okay? Yeah, but with you, it's just like black and white. Either we gonna fix this or we not. We You you gonna really fuck with me for real or you not? That's the energy that you want, right? Yeah. They see you winning and want you back. They see your glow up, right? So this is a thing and this, and this makes sense. Yeah. They see your glow up and they want a part of it, right? Which is what, another reason why the tower is here. Chaos and, and, and confusion. It's, it's like, yeah, I want power and control over you at any cost. Even if they have to come in and do this love bombing bullshit. I can't make it up. Yeah. This is what you guys are dealing with, Aquarius. Be careful who you guys let back in your energy, especially if you are for real glowing up. You're on your shit. You're on your grind. You're doing your damn thizzle, your thug thizzle, okay, or uh, whatever. And you got my fucking said really will go through any length, you know what I'm saying, to um to get close to you and, and take from you, right? Yeah, paying major karmic debt, this person, for how they behaved and treated you. Yeah, you're out of my league, but I want to try anyway. Wow. Now, y'all just saw them cards pop out. Yep. Ooh, okay, I'm just let spirit gossip because what? <laughs> yeah, it says, I'm avoiding you because I know I was wrong. Yeah, they know they were wrong about how they treated you. They were fucked up. Yeah, and they got a karmic-ass mother. Their mama Their mama is, is um very toxic. Uh, the energy that I'm getting from this karmic mother. Very toxic energy. Um, you know, not um, really guiding them in the correct way. You know, actually sometimes works against them instead of with them or for them. Yeah, they also have hidden addictions. Yeah, and they're really unworthy of your love in your, your time, right? Could be dealing with the Gemini. Yeah, and you need to reject them. And they already, but but to be honest, they already feel rejected by you, right? And your manifestations are paying off in a big way. Money bonus, right? Yes, and that's what's coming towards you this um this um mercury retrograde right all the connections yeah this is why they want to get back with you because they see you blowing up they see you doing a damn thing or whatever but they didn't treat you right in the past very abusive very toxic or whatever and it's irritating me i didn't even want to talk about this but yeah this very much well could be your twin flame that's what it's saying which is another reason why they're being spiritually guided to, uh by spirit to come towards you yeah these twin flames begin on my damn nerves <laughs> Right. So yeah, so let me get you guys some quick angel oracle messages. Um Aquarius, okay, on how you should move forward. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. The stress of it all. <laughs> all right. So device spirit, Holy Spirit, please give me honest angel oracle messages for the sign of Aquarius. Yeah. Yeah. Something's going on within the next um few weeks. If they haven't reached out to you um yet, they definitely will, right? But spirit is staying, saying straight up, no. Yeah, that's exactly what I say. 
Yeah, because you're dealing with the insecure individual. They're only coming in to love bomb you only because they see you glowing up. They see you about that life. You're giving them saying and they want a piece of it. No. Yeah, wait um, before you start dealing with this person. Really fill them out or whatever. See what's behind all this mystery, uh, this mysterious mystery. <laughs> right? It's like, what are you, a mystery mix now later? Anyways, um, <laughs> if you're from the hood, you know what mystery mix now later are. <laughs> okay? Unlikely spirit is saying, yeah, it's unlikely that this person has changed or has your best interest at heart. Right? Just because they're your twin flame does not mean that um, they are completely healed. They know they need to come and heal this connection or whatever, but they're also being very deceptive as well. Yeah, within the next few months for some of y'all, it was on different timelines. Yeah, look for a sign. Uh -huh. Look for a sign of some sort over the next few months, okay? Oh, God. Ooh. So in the near future, and this also too, um, this also could be about your money and then within the next few months or the next few weeks or in the very near future that you guys could be getting your money um coming in as well. Um, I think it will definitely happen within um for, for a lot of you guys within this Mercury retrograde um for Libra. Um, that's in Libra right now, yeah. But at the end of the at the end, whether you end up with this person or not, there will be a peaceful resolution resolution and that there's no need to worry. Okay, Aquarius. Is. All right, love folks. I love you guys so much and thank you guys for tuning in to Real Love Tarot with Renee. I hope this message has resonated with you guys. Make sure to hit the like, share, subscribe button again. Right? If you'd like to donate to the channel. Um, or book a person of reading the links to both is in the description lock description box below. Ciao, I can't talk. I love you guys. Talk to you next time. Bye.